Hey there, Star Citizen fans. Welcome back to the channel. I am Montoya. I run the largest player guild in Star Citizen. Let's talk about this baby right over here. This is the RSI Galaxy. This is the latest offering from Star Citizen as they continue to develop ships, develop the game, and raise money by selling ships like this. Now, I love the new ships. I love the way they look. But as the title says, I skipped on this one. And it wasn't an easy decision. It actually sat in my cart for a couple of days, and I slept in it, and I woke up the next morning and I'm sipping my coffee, and I'm looking at it, and I say, wow, you know, those sharp lines, it's a mini Star Destroyer, I must have it. But at the end of the day, here's the thing. Now, I thought I was gonna get a lot of flack for this, but apparently a lot of people agreed. Uh, I posted my forums talking about me not buying it, and a lot of people shared the exact same opinion. We'll go over that in a second. Uh, but before we get there, first of all, let me just thank everyone that joined my channel. So this is a feature I ignored for the longest time. Uh, right above me over there, see those icons, those people's icons over there? You can now support your favorite YouTuber by actually joining their channel. There'll be different plans ranging in price. Uh, so go ahead, find your favorite YouTuber and support them by joining the channel there. It's an awesome little addition to uh, helping them out. Uh, aside from Patreon, other ways they may have. So thank you everyone who joined, I really appreciate it. And uh, I love seeing your little icons in there every time I come to my channel. And while I'm on this page, uh, the last video I made is right there. Montoya ponders the RSI Galaxy. So I guess this is the answer from 10 days ago. Ponder no more because I'm skipping it. Um, reason being is that old backers, not age old, well, you guess you're old now. Everyone aged 10 years, right? <laughs> uh, us, us old backers have too many ships. <laughs> um, it's true. We have too many ships. And if you've collected ships over the years, there's way too much overlap at this point in time. So what does this ship here do? Well, it has a bunch of modules, which is a different argument altogether. People are wondering when the hell will modularity come into the ship? Uh, when can we expect to even see this happen? There's a giant pipeline. This was a massive discussion also. There's a pipeline of ships waiting to be done. When will this happen? Uh, will it be happening next year, in two years? We don't know. There's no time on it and uh, a lot of criticism for CIG on and at least give some kind of hint when you can expect this to happen. But the answer, the truth is, I'm not sure they're sure either. Uh, so as a concept goes, selling you a ship with a bunch of modules you can switch out. Uh, one day you want this to be a cargo ship, you can. The next day you want a medical ship, this is it. The next day you want to do refinery, this is it. And most interestingly to me is the others, what else is going to be in there that we may like in the future? Problem is, when? We don't know when. But more to the topic of this video is the fact that there's so much overlap. So when it comes to cargo, I have the Banu Merchantman, which has a massive amount of cargo. Do I need this one for cargo? The answer is no. Um, as far as medical go, well, the Banu Merchantman does have a medical bay in it, but I'm always playing with people who uh, are focusing on medical. So for me personally, I don't need a medical ship, but I think this is very important. If you're in an org with 10, 20, it doesn't matter what size, medical ships will always be needed. So yeah, I can see the importance, but for me, not really. Refinery, I have ships for refinery. I don't need this one to be the refinery ship. So the problem is, and the problem I'm seeing other people have, well, it's not a problem really, is that there's too much overlap with what you have already with what they're offering here. Now, not that this is bad, I think this is great. If you are a newish player or you don't have many ships or you have a constellation basically, and uh, you're looking to upgrade from the constellation, then I think, yeah, this is a wonderful option. In fact, there it is, the constellation uh, top of the screen over there. Uh, I think those go for what, 250, 275? What's the price now? Uh, so this ship here, the Galaxy, selling for 350 for the base model, is not a bad stretch. You know, if you like to spend 20 bucks a month from something gaming and you haven't spent money in a while and you want to spend 100 bucks to upgrade your constellation to the RSI Galaxy, I think it's a perfect upgrade. Uh, it's a Swiss Army knife. It's going to do a bit of everything, and it'll do everything the RSI, the uh, constellation does. It's fact, I think, heavily cannibalizes the constellation in that sense. But um, a lot of the existing older backers with lots of the ships apparently are in the same page as I am. So I thought I was going to get flack, but uh, no. Uh, here's Gucci saying same thing for me. Uh, a lot of people saying the same thing. I like the ship. I like the modifications. Well, now this guy uh, here, uh, Butez, saying yes. Perseus also. Oh, that's right. I have the Perseus also. So the Perseus is similar in size, a bit smaller, more heavily armed, more focused on combat, but also has space for cargo. 
So if you own a Perseus and you own a Banu Merchantman or you own any kind of medical ship, uh, do you really need the Galaxy? So I think it's a tough sell in that sense. Now, it didn't stop sales from being absolutely spectacular. My previous video is all about uh, Star Citizen crossing over $100 million for the year, which is spectacular. But uh, I definitely think it's reached the point, uh, Star Citizen has reached the point in its development where new concepts coming out greatly overlap with almost everything we already have, whether it's exploration or combat uh, or salvage is coming out now. But uh, we're hitting the point where it's not so easy anymore to simply go out and just buy what's the latest thing because it's just way too much overlap in my opinion. So I'm putting this down as a definite buy in-game. When we can buy this ship in-game with in-game currency through normal gameplay, I'll go for this definitely. But as for spending out cash for this, you know, I was close. <laughs> I was almost on it. I was almost kicking the button. But uh, yeah, here's another one. Yep, not getting it either, says Aram Solari. I have the Banu Merchantman, the Carrick, and the Polaris. Way too much overlap as it is. Exactly. But there is the argument of this going the other way. Um, let's just finish this comment here. I'm also kind of annoyed with CIG lately and don't feel like rewarding them with more of my hard-earned money. That's besides the point. No, it's a good point. We had the discussion also in Discord recently. Uh, a lot of people upset with delays, a lot of people upset with the modularity, and that's fine. If they're not doing things you, you don't like, don't support them, that's perfectly fine. But obviously we see a lot of fresh people coming in and people loving it still, so nothing wrong with that. Don't feel bad about it at all. Uh, and if you don't have a, a Galaxy, but you want to go on one, don't worry, Cosmic Trader has you covered. <laughs> you go and crew on his. Oh, actually, this is good right here. Michael Singh uh, making a good point. Uh, Galaxy is a welcome change to downsize my fleet. Uh, this is also, actually, that's, a, that's fascinating because as game development has continued and as more and more people have continued to buy more ships, you get to a point where things do overlap and you do want to downsize. So there could be a point, like Michael here saying, basically he's downsizing his fleet and he prefers having the Galaxy as a ship that can do several things as opposed to several ships doing one thing well. Uh, interesting, and uh, I actually agree with that. Less ships is actually better in many cases because, honest, you guys with lots of ships, how many of them are sitting there as hangar queens? They'll sit there forever. You'll never use them. Right? I know it's a pretty ship. You will never use it. You know you won't. Melt it down, get something uh, useful at least. So with that, ladies and gents, uh, let's end that off. And tomorrow is going to be a Q&A for the Galaxy. So watch out for that video. We'll talk about the Q&A. And see, the biggest question I have essentially is what the hell happens in the middle of the ship when there's no module. So here's the refinery one. If there's no, if you're buying the base model, is the middle of the ship closed off and you can't enter it or is it an empty space? If it's an empty space, can you use it for cargo? Uh, I have questions, and they will be answered tomorrow. But for now, thank you very much, guys, again, for supporting my channel above there. I do appreciate it. Uh, comments, questions below, always welcome, and I'll catch you in the next one.